Hello, you are welcome to this YouTube channel. I drop video tutorials on awesome designs, you can create with just your smartphone. Don't forget to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and turn on your notification, to get all rated, whenever I drop new video tutorials. Hello, this is Ineski Designs and you are welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to merge, uh, how to group elements on Pixel App without merging them. So follow me carefully. If you are used to Pixel Lab, you will know that it's almost impossible to group elements, to move two or more elements together without necessarily merging them. And that is why this tutorial was created so that you will be able to know how to move two or more elements without merging them, without going, the, going through the stress of merging them again. Alright, so the first thing is, okay, let me use a test. Let's use a test yes I did all right so let me use iniski iniski design done okay yeah let me use a better font a bolder font okay let me use this, this okay all right so this this is iniski design so let me copy it let me copy it so this is copy copy all right now if if i want to move there's no way i can move these two let me change this color to so that i'll be able to differentiate what we are doing okay let me change this to black 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 yeah then the background let me change the background to To white yes to white okay so this is it so there's no way i can move these two elements without having to merge them but this, this tutorial will show you how you can move them without merging them together all right so let's go into it so this is one element this is another element though both of them are test so the 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 simple thing you will do is that you will tap on this place look at we will tap here all right let's add let's add one more element let's add shape let's add a shape let's add a shape all right so shape let's change the color to this all right so let's add this yes so now we have two d elements that we are working with here and now all right so let's move this to the element let me show you how to group them without merging them together so you tap here look at you tap here you tap here then you tap look at you tap here you tap yes tap here then you not tap here look at this is merge but you will not merge them together this is where you will press but before then you have to click on the those elements you want to move together you have to click on them so now i want to move these three elements together you will now click on this note not not this not this this one is for merging look at are you sure you want to merge the selected object that is not what comes to that is not what we are using here because if you merge them you cannot redo them so now you have to um but if you merge them you cannot separate them again all right so what you press is this you tap here look at you tap here and you can do so many things to the theory elements at the same time here yeah? you can rotate the theory of them look at you see you see this is amazing you can rotate the theory of them all right so what what again can you do what again can you do to the theory of them sorry okay yes all right so what again can you do to the theory of them yes tap the theory tap the theory click here then look at you can increase their size look at you can increase their size you can increase their size together then what again can you do to the theory of them you can look at you can position them look at you see look at you can position them wherever you want at the same time and yet you can after you can work on each of them so it won't disturb anything you are working with all right so what again what again 
yes you can move this is manual movement yes manual movement you can also move the three of them together manually you see that manually manually you can move the three of them so what again what again can you do yeah you can make them you can hide the three of them at the same time um let's assume you are working with many elements so you don't have to go to the stress of hiding hiding each of them hiding each of them um hiding each of them you can just hide the three of them at the same time and yes let's yes look at it so now the last thing you can do to the theory of them without merging them is locking you can lock the theory of them so you won't have to go through the stress of locking let's say you have a lot of elements you won't have to go through the stress of locking each of them all right so that will just be all for this tutorial how to group elements without necessarily merging them thank you for watching and if you not subscribe please subscribe to this youtube channel so that you keep getting amazing content tips and tricks in pixel lab and also you, you will keep getting video tutorials thank you very much